Hey y'all, welcome back. <laughs> I hope you're having a really great night and um, you had a really super holiday season. Uh, I have done a little bit, like I don't know about y'all, but like after the holidays, I like to kind of scope out the sales and and look for certain things that maybe Santa missed off my list. <laughs> and um, at, I, I was especially looking for a few certain vintage things and I had gone on Etsy and bought them and by some crazy chance, they like all came today all at once. And so I was opening it, I'm like, oh my gosh, I wanna show everybody this stuff. So that's part of why it's so much fun to do these videos um, with y'all. And so I wanna like get right into it. <laughs> and. Um, so you the first thing was this flannel shirt and I think y'all know from some of my other videos that I've gotten cotton into these like vintage flannels lately and like this one is so soft like they're you know they're softer than a newer flannel and I found this one on this I'm um, from the seller on Etsy called Left Bank SV and I'll put the shops all down in the comments so you guys can check them check them out if you want to but um, I just love this. I love the colors. It's like, it's almost like coffee, like coffee and a cookie. Like, you know, one of those really beautiful iced cookies. Like I can just, I don't know why, but I just get that visual when I see this shirt. I just love it. It's like this great hot pink. And um, I have a pair of like hot pink skinny jeans. I think it'll look really cute with, or, you know, just hanging around the house. I mean, I don't know, I just love these. You know, you can dress them like up or down. They look really cute with like rhinestone necklaces and or like a really funky belt. There's just so many things you can do with them. So they're kind of becoming like one of my staples. And it matches my pillow. <laughs> so I always want to match the furniture around here. <laughs> and that was, and, and the best part, it was only like $17. And the ones I got in Morovia a few weeks ago were $42 each. So I was a little bummed because I thought, oh, dang, I could have like bought, you know, some more, some more from this gal. But, but that's okay. I would have never probably like been looking for them if it wasn't, you know, for going to Monrovia. And, and I don't know why I am like on the biggest plaid kick. Like, no duh, right? <laughs> Lately, I am just, I don't know why, but I just really am loving plaid, especially these vintage ones because the color combos are so bright and brilliant. And um, this is from Conchetta's Closet on, um, on Etsy. And this is a vintage, like 1970s maxi. Isn't that, I just love maxi skirts. And because I'm taller, like I sometimes have trouble with them being the right length. And this is like the perfect length. And I mean, look at the colors. Don't they like just pop? I think it looks so cute with like a t-shirt, um, like one of my rock band t-shirts or a crop top. And look at the material. It's like that really great, like puckered cotton. It's a, it has a really pretty texture and it's just, it's just pristine. I mean, absolutely. And it's so cute. It has this like little tie. So like when you wear it, it has like a little, you know, like paper bag waist. And I just, I was, oh, I just love it. <laughs> I was so excited. Actually, literally when I opened the package and I saw that, it was like, oh my gosh, I love it, love it. <laughs> and also from the same gal, I got this skirt, which is like um, an acrylic. So it's, it looks sort of like wool, but it's not itchy at all. And like, I cannot hack clothes that are itchy. Like, <laughs> it's just like have you ever had like something on I mean I, I've like bought things because they were so gorgeous and I thought oh it won't bother me you know how it is like when you buy a pair of shoes that's like two sizes too small just because like they're so fabulous and it's like you know you're out in public and you're just like just dying <laughs> to scratch you know and it look like you, you look like you got leprosy or something but um so I always, that's another question that, like, I always ask the sellers. I'll ask them if they don't have it in their, you know, description. I'll be like, you know, how soft is the material? Is it a scratchy wool? Is it softer? You know, and I'll tell them straight up that, you know, I just, I'm like allergic to it. I just can't take it. Which is always, I mean, it's a good policy, you know, when you shop when somewhere like Etsy. Because the sellers don't know. Sometimes they don't know what people like or don't like or what to say or not to say in there. Um, like listing 
So, but the BS de Resistance in my little vintage shopping fashion, fashion <laughs> spree was this coat. And you, you, I think y'all probably have all heard that we're supposed to have this like crazy killer El Nino's coming to get us all in Southern California. We're going to get like wiped off the planet or something. <laughs> I will probably slide down the hill into the canyon. I don't know. <laughs> I figured if El Nino's coming, then I'm going to dress up for it. <laughs> and I have really been wanting like right, I've been a drain coat because you know, raincoats are like one of the hardest find, things to find, like a really cute raincoat, don't you think? I mean, they all like, look the same, and they're usually just like ugly. Um, and so I found this from this seller called um, Stray Light Vintage on Etsy. And literally, y'all, like when I opened the package and I like touched the fabric, I was just like, <gasps> like... <laughs> It's just amazing, like amazing. Like it almost feels like it's like nylon, but silk, but um, also like, or like a parachute. It's just like super duper soft, but waterproof. And it has this like really cool, I don't know if you can see, like it has a little bit of sheen to it. And look at the color. It's like this coral, pinky, peachy. Like I cannot wait to wear this thing. And it like look at the texture so it has like this kind of faux linen texture on it and it has these gorgeous mother of pearl buttons look at those aren't those like stunners and not only that it's lined and the lining is the same as the outer shell which is something that's really that's that then you know you've got like a really high quality garment so if you're shopping for a vintage raincoat, those are some things to look for. And this, this actually, this is an amazing designer from the um, 60s. His name's Donald Brooks, and there's the tag. And he designed, um, like, for, for Bendel and, you know, a lot of the really upscale department stores. And just really phenomenal. I mean, he's, if you see anything by him and it's under $100, buy it. <laughs> it's really good. Let me, I'm going to try this one on and show y'all this. And it is so cute. It's got this great shape to it. So it's sort of like a smock, <laughs> like an artist smock almost. And it's, so it's just like really easy breezy, comfortable to wear. Look at it. Isn't it like so cute? It has this great little collar and the back has like these little like, I don't know if you can see my hair. <laughs> it has these great little pleats in the back. Like, isn't that just amazing? I feel like I should be in that movie. Did you see it? Did y'all ever see that old movie? Um, it's called Funny Face with Audrey Hepburn and Fred Astaire. And, you know, she's like, becomes this fashion model because she wants to go to Paris. And it is, if you haven't seen it, you've got to watch it. And you love fashion, you've got to watch this movie. And they have this musical number where they're singing and like what the magazine editor is wearing a coat like this like totally like a smock <laughs> kind of style and she's like singing in the rain and she has like this so elegant like stick umbrella that's like super sleek and you know tossing it around and <laughs> it's just it's a great movie and I don't know, this is one of the cool things about vintage, I think. It just, they could just make you feel like so happy. And this, this thing is just beautiful. It's pristine, so thank you, Stray Light Vintage. And she sent me this amazing um, card too with it. And she was just super nice when I was asking her questions about it. So if you're looking for a vintage raincoat to face El Nino in style, <laughs> check her out. Or just like search vintage raincoat on Etsy and you know, have a couple nights searching through your 10,000 search results. <laughs> but, guess what? Clothes are not the only thing that I buy on Etsy, swear. <laughs> um, I've also been buying some stuff for the house. And I really love buying vintage housewares. And they're like harder, they're almost harder to buy than clothes. Because, you know, like clothes... Um, you can always alter them if they don't fit and, and there seem to be like so many of them because people buy clothes and then they never use them, right? But things like, like kitchen housewares, people buy those and they use them and they get cruddy and so you're not going to have like as many of those things like in the vintage 
you know, circulation as you are other things. And um, so one of the things that I've been wanting to find was a really pretty like canister to put our coffee in because I buy like three or four different kinds of coffees and in the cabinet, you know, those bags that come in, they just kind of like fall over and get lost. And I thought it'd be really pretty to have on the counter like a really like cool canister. And apparently canisters are kind of like a category <laughs> that you can find like in all the kitchen stuff. And um, they're all different, you know, shapes, styles. And I, there, there's this one maker that I love and um, it's called Ransberg. And I'll put it in the um, notes, but it's spelled R-A-N-S-B-U-R-G. And um, anything made by this maker, um, they did like all these really beautiful, not just like tins, but they did um, like trash cans and um, like things for your bathroom, you know, like Kleenex box holders. And the really special thing about Ransberg is most of their things are hand painted. <laughs> I mean, can you imagine going to the store and trying to find something hand painted? I don't think so. I mean, that's where you're like going to Etsy these days to find stuff like that. And I found this one on Etsy and I just fell in love with it. It's so pretty. It actually is a cookie jar or cookie tin, <laughs> but um, it says, I'm going to hold this up so you can see, but look at this. Is this not so cute? It's like beautiful and that is all hand painted. Look at the lid. It's like a really beautiful like rose gold. Like so pretty. And um, not only that, but inside of it, it is, look, it's pristine. So a lot of these, you know, you're going to find them and they're going to have like rust and stuff in there. And they say you can still use them, but I don't know. It just makes me feel kind of weirded out. I don't want to put my food in a rusty tin. <laughs> um, so, but you can still find these in really, really good condition. This one has like a little bit of wear at the bottom, but um, this came from a seller on Etsy called the Art Deco Dame. And, and that, this, was, this was another one where she sent me like a little thank you card and a personal note, and she was really sweet. So this is going to go on our counter in the kitchen with all my coffees. And I just thought that was so cool. And it was only like, I think it was like 22 bucks. And the, the lid actually is kind of heavy. I think it's copper, even though it's like a rosy gold color. I'm pretty sure it's copper. But you know, rose gold is like a thing now, right? It's like everybody wants rose gold everything. Hair, um, dishes, like fi bathroom fixtures. I mean, I really love it, but I think it's one of those things that's going to like just go crazy and then everyone's going to get really sick of it. <laughs> but, um, but anyway, and these are so nice too, because you know, you can use them for other things around the house too. You don't have to use it like in the kitchen. You could use it in the bathroom or in your bedroom. And if you're, if you're out like shopping, you're like in an antique shop or something and you want to like tell, like it, anything that's a Ransberg that's hand painted will be stamped. But also, just like run your fingers like over the um, design, and if it feels elevated, then you'll know that um, that that's a that's a definitely a hand painted a hand painted item. So so cool. Thank you, Etsy. <laughs> Thank you, Art Deco Dame. <laughs> and so that was that was the end of my Etsy haul, <laughs> and. Um, uh, and then also this week, well, actually it was a couple weeks ago, but I waited for you guys because <laughs> I wanted y'all to see this. So I get this package and not only do I like vintage, but I like like really, um, I don't know how to describe it, but kind of urban style. And there's this really cool website called Dolls Kill. I don't know if y'all have ever been to it, but I just, I mean, I know it sounds kind of creepy. Like when the very time, first time I placed an order, um, the credit card company called us up. What is this Dolls Kill? Like who knew what they thought it was, you know? And um, anyway, uh, but I, I, it reminds me of like, I don't know, like James Bond for some reason. I don't know, or like Valley of the Dolls. And um, anyway, so I, I had ordered something from them. 
and I got it, and so it comes, you know, here's the box. And I open up the box, and look at this. It's all wrapped up like a present. I thought that was just so cool, like a little like skull sticker. So I wish more like online merchants would like get it and do things like this. Like it just makes it like more of an experience to get something. So anyways, well, let's open this up. <laughs> and go, oh my gosh, look at this y'all. It's like N, look at that. And it's from, it's the, um, it's Wild Fox, Wild Fox Couture. That's actually what the sweatshirt is too. I love Wild Fox. They make such really fun things. And, uh, and they are like thermal PJs. And they are, they are, um, like, you know how some thermals are really thick and have a lot of texture? I don't know about y'all, but sometimes it's like too thick, like too much texture. So when you wear it and like you sit down, then you get up, you've got like waffle imprint, like on the back of your legs and stuff. <laughs> it's like disgusting. I hate those. Well, these thermals, um, here's what they like. They have little gnomes. Aren't they so cute? Little Santa gnomes. <laughs> Those are so funny. They remind me of the Trivelocity gnomes. That's all that I've got for you today. I want to thank you for hanging out with me. I, I love it and I hope you had a good time. Uh, make some, you know, anything you want to ask me or um, if you want to know anything about like, what I'm wearing or anything, just let me know in the comments and um, I'll, I'll get back with you. So I hope you have a really great rest of your day or night whenever you're watching. And uh, I'll see you soon. Bye.